Hey, it is Sarah with House Copper. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do a repair on a really tiny place that needs soldering. I have a teapot repair that um, just needs the spout to be put back on. They boiled it dry and when that happens, a spout will fall off. So, shocker. Um, um, and I actually get a lot of these. But um, they're, they're not hard to do, but they're picky and they're minuscule. And the first thing you need to do is to clean both surfaces. So what I did ahead of time um, for before this video was I ground the um, the part where the spout goes on the kettle so that the, the remaining tin and all the copper area is clean of debris and old grime. And then I um, also cleaned the part of the spout. Now, when this happens, it's because a spout uh, of any kind on any vessel has only been butt soldered, meaning it hasn't been riveted on and it hasn't been put on with a seam. It's literally just been a piece of copper like soldered on top of another one. There's, there's nothing to hold it there if it gets too hot or boils dry. Um, if you are making spouts, and when I make spouts, spouts how I was taught, by Bob and how he makes spouts is a lot of times you will do just you will um, burr out part of the the spout so you know make a seam allowance for like an eighth of an inch to burr out to sit flush against the body of your piece and then you actually drill and rivet that spout on so that even if it boils dry it won't fall off now that's not helpful with this piece which is I think made in India um, or, or someplace where they don't do that, which is fine. Um, but it's a really finicky repair. So once you have the places cleaned, both the spout where the spout abuts to the body of the copper pot and the copper pot area clean where the spout is abutting, you, um, and you're gonna have leftover tin, ideally, um, but you also aren't, shouldn't have any more dirt. And once you do that, you know, I use just a Dremel with a little stone tool so that it's a smooth but clean and quick way um, to um, to grind off um, not only excess material but the dirt you take a stick of solder and you need to get into really tiny places and of course the trick is to get the solder to run and not go into the tea kettle or um, block any of the holes where it pours out and also not run out and um, not let the spout fall off while you're doing it. So you have to start and stop a lot. Like you basically are like, put a little solder here, stop. Put a little solder here, stop. And you're getting into a really tiny crack. So you're gonna take a stick of solder and you're going to um, pound it as thin and as flat as you can. And the beauty of course is tin is extremely soft, so this is not hard to do. So just on any surface, a block of wood, um, a piece of metal, a stake, an anvil, whatever you have, and a metal hammer. So here we go. So here is my very, very, very skinny, not paper thin, but almost thin pieces of solder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get it into this teapot repair. So even though the spout has been reattached already, if you look very closely, see how this seam here is still not flush. And it's just, there's not enough solder. Um, it's all kind of when it when this thing ran a lot of the solder ran to the bottom here and then um, not enough stayed up on top but of course this teapot will still leak right now so what I need to do is I've already flexed that area when I was assembling this but what I want to do is I want to take this and I'm gonna slide that and just touch it right there into those cracks as I heat this area now of course like I said the trick is to make sure that we don't, um, we don't actually make the spout fall off. I'm actually gonna have to do this all along the bottom. But, and I'm also going to do just a little bit more of liquid flux and to even make this easier to do, I'm gonna take this piece of solder and I'm gonna cut it even thinner Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, talk about wrecking my teapot that I just replaced. And now I essentially have a very, very thin piece of solder that I can pop into where I want to pop it in. All right, so I'm gonna flux up where I wanna do this. I'm gonna use the blowtorch and I'm gonna prop this up so hopefully the whole thing doesn't wobble off when it gets hot. So here we go, it's always an experiment. And I got it too hot and it fell off. All right, so after the piece fell off again, you saw I went back in and um, you just reheat where you've already put the solder and it sticks and then the goal is to make sure it doesn't leak. You pour water in and um, make sure it doesn't leak. Um, so then, you know, you can polish it up a little bit, um, clean up a little bit around the edges if you need. You'll notice like the solder, or not the solder, the flux, will actually leave dark areas where it runs. Um, and that can come off with just a regular chemical exterior copper polish. So um, this little tiny little repair is finally done even after it fell off. And um, that's how you can use solder in really tiny places. Um, just heat and really skinny strips of it. So anyway, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, as always. I welcome them. And until next time, take care.